They want the power I give. Signal the smoke and bring in the boys. Pull the alarm and bring in the noise. Let me get your security over here, man. Give me a hand. If you ever make it to Dallas, Texas, you better stop at the barber plug. I'm out. Welcome back to another episode of Clipper Shopping at the Barber Plug. I'm your host, the Barber Brooks, and today we are back in Dallas, Texas at our flagship store, going shopping with one of our good friends coming all the way from Ohio. You guys know him as a master barber. He's an influencer, a speaker, and an educator. And you know him by the name of Dre Clipper Hands. What's going What's up, on, my bro? guy? How are you? I'm doing great. How are you today? Good. I'm excited to be here. Absolutely. We're excited to have you. How was your travel into Dallas? Uh, my travel was super easy. Usually when I fly somewhere, I always have a delay in right. another city, but it was straight through, so it was easy. Oh, let's go. Have you been to Dallas before? I've been here once to teach a class. Okay. Well, welcome back. We're super excited to have you. You wouldn't have come all the way out here if you didn't need some new tools, right? Yeah, man. I need some new tools. I'm always looking for, for more. All right. Well, if you're ready, we'll just get right to shopping. Yeah, man. Let's get to it. All right. Let's do it. Cool. We back in the field, back. We ready, it's time. Ready. There's nothing but hustle inside of the huddle. You know that I grind. A dangerous smile, a weapon of choice when pushing the line. Pushing the line. Go over time and I won't break when it's crunch time. My end game is number one. Number Bet one. it all. All right, bro, welcome inside. What do you think of the store? Man, the store is beautiful. I think that the clipper wall is genius, right? Because usually when you walk in, it's just a lot of different clipper boxes, but right. to have a display wall definitely uh, separates you know, this place from other places. Yeah, that's kind of the whole point. We want people to be able to like pick the stuff up. Like you're like shopping at the Apple store or something, you know? Yeah. See what you're actually purchasing. That's a good example. I never thought about it like that, but yeah. yeah. Definitely the wall is beautiful. Um, I love the open aesthetic. And I just want to you know, spend all my time here. Awesome, bro. It means a lot for you to say that. So you're from Ohio, right? Right. What part of Ohio? I usually say Cleveland for the sake of conversation, but I really grew up in a suburb of Cleveland. So it's probably 30 minutes outside of it. It's called Lorraine. Ohio. How long have you been cutting hair and kind of what got you, like what's the inspo like from Ohio that got you into this industry? Man, so I started cutting hair, specifically mine, in eighth grade, right? Because I started to really care about how I look yeah. and I wanted a haircut every week, but you know, my mom wasn't about to take me every week. So right. we had a pair of clippers at home and I was like, man, you know what? I'm gonna start cutting my own hair, you know? Cause I knew people that did it. So I pulled up YouTube like any person my age would. Yeah. And I went ham, right? But I messed myself up for the whole first year. Of course. Um, and then I progressively got better. Then by sophomore year, it turned into my cousins and then my friends. And really, I got to where I am now, you know, from that. So I've been cutting a total of eight years. Licensed, going on five this year. Okay. Do you remember that first pair of clippers you had at the crib when you first Um, Bro, people ask me that question all the time. I don't. They were like a gray Andis clipper with like a black power you button. Remember. But no, I don't remember. <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, of course, you've grown a lot to where you're at now. Kid from Ohio, I mean, did you ever see that happening? Could you ever, like, you know, when you were first started cutting hair, did you have this vision for yourself to right. see what you could create? Um, when I first started cutting hair, really, it was fun for me, right? But as I continued to engulf myself in the barber, barber culture through social media, I saw really what was the potential of what it could be, right? Yeah, because it was possible. I heard a quote that said, your level of exposure will dictate your level of success, right? Because oh. if you're not exposed to something, you don't know the potential of it. So when I was exposed to all this success that these other barbers in other states was having, I was like, man, I really see myself, you know, doing that. So towards the end of barber school, I made the decision to start a YouTube channel because that was yeah. a way that I learned. So I was like, yeah. man, I want to give back in that same way. And then obviously the first year I posted like four times, yeah. really no traction. But then I, I was like, man, you know what, bro? I really think I could, I could make something special out of this if I post consistently. So I hopped on YouTube and looked up every how to make YouTube video videos ever. <laughs> um, and I started posting once a week. Yeah. And from that place, I've been able to grow a channel. So, yeah, man, it all started with the decision to cut hair and then being exposed to what, you know, it really could be. Yeah, so talking about exposure and, you know, you're talking about success, you're seeing other people be successful. 
Do you remember what type, like what success was to you or is to you now? Is yeah. it the following or is it, you know, got something to do with cutting hair or have you moved past that? Like, yeah. What do you desire to do moving forward with barbering? With barbering, I definitely don't see myself behind the chair forever. Right. Um, but I think barbering will always be a part of my life in some way, shape or form. Um, I, I can't confidently say exactly what that will be. Yeah. But I always view barbering as a vehicle to get me to where I want to be. That's it. You know? Yeah. So whether it be stuff like this, right? Yeah. Being able to talk to other people and make dope content or be able to teach classes or yeah. just inspire youth that grew up in the same situation that I was in. Like, yo, it's possible to make something better out of this, you know? But yeah, I would say like practically, I see myself opening a barbershop, okay. maybe multiple. Um, continue to grow my social media content and then see what goes from there, you know? Yeah, so I can tell from you, it sounds like your biggest thing is like providing value. Yeah, right? 100%. Like that's more important than the followers, than the money, than, you know, what, what what's gonna come, what naturally comes, but the value is always, you know, leading that way. That's super dope, bro. I appreciate you sharing all of that. We're gonna get to shopping, so I hope that some of our viewers are able to get some value from you today. So let's just get right into it. You ready to go over to our clipper wall? Yeah, I'm excited to see some some of these clippers I haven't touched before, so all let's right, get it. Let's do it, bro. Cool. So your name is Dre mm -hmm. Clipper Hand, so it only makes sense we start. I was clever. Most, I see what you did there. Most important wall in the whole store is our signature Clipper wall. Mm -hmm. So what Clipper captured your heart at the very beginning? So the first Clipper that I got that was like official was the Corded and his Masters. Right now on your station though. What are you using every day? Man, now, because these clipper companies are super generous and send me their equipment. Okay. Definitely Babeless, the FX's, which is right here. Yeah. Um, I have a custom pair and I have their Snap. And then Stylecraft Instincts. Stylecraft Instincts. Those are my okay. go-to. Right, you're not biased. You don't got a favorite brand. It sounds like you're getting love from all of them. So. Yeah, I'm getting love from everybody, which I'm, I'm grateful for, you know? We'll just go one by one. I mean, you like the Babyliss FX, so what is it about these FX clippers that you like? And uh, of course, we got these brand new boosts. We got yeah. snaps. We got all these different colorways. What is it about the Babyliss that, that you love? For, I mean, for the Babyliss, I think I like the ability to customize them. Like, they come in so many different colors, you know? Right. So that, and then the quality, man. I think their quality is unmatched when it comes to any other clipper. So I would say that's what sets them apart. For Babyliss, well, I know we're gonna get there. Yeah. Their trimmer is really, like, my favorite. Yeah, but clipper-wise, the quality. What colorway or what type of Babyliss clipper do you not have? Really, the only ones I've had is the gold ones. The OG gold yep, ones? Yep, the OG okay. gold ones, okay. and then the black ones with the gold, the okay. gold touches. And then now, I I have their Snap FX's, which right are right here, here and okay. my own custom FX's as well. Okay, so you have no boost. Um, no boost. I do okay. not. Okay, it's a good thing you're at the barber plug. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna take these. So let me you ask you, what are the these? difference with the boost and the regular? Yeah, just the power, just the motor, more RPMs. Appreciate also, it. of course, as you can tell, the grip. Yeah, course. these are fire. I love these. We've got those, and then they just dropped the brand new matte black. So I don't okay. Know, are you a big like aesthetic guy? You like your station to be uh, clean? It depends, man. There's some moves I get in where I'm like, yeah. man, that's want my station to look clean. Right. But then I'm like, man, give me all the colors, you know? Yeah. But for sure, the black ones. I like the black ones. So we're gonna add some black ones to the car. I mean, you wearing black. Yeah. Yeah. We got the it's only right. Bar. It's only right. It's only right. Let's okay. do it. So like I said, I, I've tried the FX's, obviously. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. one Babyliss clipper I've always wanted to try that I haven't been able to is the FX3's, man. I think, okay. especially the black ones, they look super clean. Okay. And it's different, right? Because the lever is like a button. Yeah. Which I've never yeah. tried before. Go ahead and, and try it out. I'll take this from you. But yeah. I like the red, but black. Black is where it's at. For, for sure. sure. It's not black. Yeah, these are tough. I really like these. So for sure, we've heard a lot of great things about those. We can go ahead and add Man, those add to the these card for as me. Well. I was about to say, add them right now. Yeah, FX3 plug. Now, I know you've used these Instincts. These are fairly new. What is it about these that you love so much? Man, I think with the Instincts, what I like about them is obviously, these are pretty small clippers. Um, It's the size, the size and the power Okay. is what I love about these. There's very few clippers that I feel like work efficiently that I can finish a haircut quickly. And the Stylecraft Instincts is definitely one of them. Dope, dope. Add another pair. Add another I'll take instinct. another pair. Yeah, absolutely. Let's go. I know in some of your videos, you've used these magic clips. The, the so. magic clips have a, have a special place in my heart, man. I think if I was asked, right, to use one clipper for the rest of my life, and I can only say this because I'm not under a brand, yeah. I got to go with magic clips. Really? Got to. One clipper the rest of your life, got you're to. rocking with the magic clips. I have clips. to go with the magic well, clips. Why, why you say that? Um, I just think they do everything, right? I, th I like how, how close they cut. That stagger tooth blade okay. really is unmatched.
matched. Man, I, I love them, you know, I had a special place in my heart. It's one of my first Clippers, so. So you picking Magic the gold Clips. or the OGs? Um, now that the gold is out, I have to go with the gold because they're a little more powerful, but yeah. either or. Okay, the thing right. is, I recently just dropped my gold ones. Um, oh, so I'll take the gold perfect, ones. Perfect, bro. I yeah. knew you came out here for a reason. Let's lock it in. Plug, we're gonna add another gold Magic Clip. Um, okay, so one last thing. I mean, we've touched on the majority of the brands, but we mm -hmm. haven't touched on these JRLs behind yes. us. I know you've used those as well. So yeah. how do you feel about those? Um, honestly, now it's starting to seem like I love every Clipper. <laughs> Um, but when I got the JRLs, I used them religiously. And the only yeah. reason I didn't use them is because it sounds like I have a natural tendency to drop my clippers, which I did. <laughs> um, I dropped these. And I really haven't been able to use them since, but I love these ones. Yeah, so these are the ones that come with the runtime on the front. Yeah, the four yeah. hours. And they it come with two, now, two different modes. I mean, well, is it kind of like the the walls? Do you like the kind of a multi-purpose clipper? They do yeah, I think so. I think I like how, since the blade opens up so much more, yeah. is what I like about it. It goes from a zero to a one very okay. easily. Yeah, let me get another pair. Okay, plug, we need another JRL. We added a Babyliss FX3, Matte Black Boost. We added another Wall Magic Clip. We added another Instinct. We added another JRL. We added all your favorites, bro. Yeah. Is there anything that, that you haven't used that you yeah. want to try? Or? Honestly, man, I'm a pretty routine guy. I like what okay. I like, and I like to stick with that. Yeah. So I think I'm good. That's fair. Okay. All right. Well, if you're good, we'll move on to our trimmer wall. Let's do it. All right. So here we are in front of our signature trimmer wall. So now we got Dre trimmer hands. Dre trimmer hands in the building. <laughs> All right, just like I asked you at the clipper wall though, you know, what was that first trimmer? You actually mentioned the the uh, FX trimmer is like yeah. your go-to and it's like the goat for it's you. It's top two and not two. Top two, top not two, two and not two. All right, sure. so, but what's your favorite? Well, like, is it the classic gold or? Um, obviously, I think everyone's first pair was the classic gold because it was the first one that came out. But now I have a custom FX. I don't know. I don't know which one I should pick. Which one yeah. you think? Well, I mean, you got to get the matching combos. Yeah. So you got so to get... go with the matte black. And I'm not going to lie, bro. This, uh -huh. since this has come out, this is my go-to edger. But that's going to get your lineup right Valid. every time. I go with it. And it's a Boost Plus. I ain't see yeah. that. The matching uh, FX3. I've homers. never tried these ones. I've heard the red ones, you know, when yeah. everyone was saying they were too sharp. You've heard the rumors. I've heard the rumors. Straight out the box. Yo. Uh, but I definitely want to try these. Trey, Re reason clean. being though is because when I had the slim lines, originally yeah. I had the black ones. But I think a lot of people had problems with these just dying and yeah. burning out, which mine's did. And then I went to the silver, and ever since you know that pair kind of went to to waste, I never got another pair. But I want to try these because they look similar. Yeah, exactly. That's what they were going for. Cool. Well, so we got two babyless trimmers, so we can move to our stylecraft topics. I mean, you like the instinct <clears throat> clipper? You like the trimmer? Uh, I don't. I think if I had to pick really? from the trimmers, right, that stylecraft has I'm easily the best. Best one is the sabers. Okay. Why do you say that? Why you don't like the instinct? I think the metal body has a lot to do with it, okay. and then how powerful they are as well yeah. is why I believe these are the best ones. So, so you don't want another instinct trimmer then? Nah, I'm good on okay. another instinct. I, I'll take a saber though. I'll take a black, a saber. black saber. So we ended on the Gerald Clipper. You love that Gerald Clipper, right? Yeah. So of course you love the trimmer too. No, actually I don't. I think um, when it came to the trimmer, I tried. I adjusted it a lot, but it just never worked for me. You know, so it sat in my drawer, and I actually gave it to a client who was looking for a trimmer for himself. Jeez. This is like one of my yeah, favorite I don't know, trimmers. man. I've tried. I've tried. But I am interested in the detailers, though. Those detailers are some of my favorite trimmers straight out the box. They yeah. say the FX3 hit her out the box. Don't sleep on the detailers. Yeah. I'll tell you from experience. You added a new gold wall clipper, so you're yeah. going to get the matching trimmer. I definitely want to want to try these. Cool. Well, last but not least, this brand new Stylecraft Flex trimmer yeah. just dropped. I think you had mentioned you got your hands on one Yeah, already. I did. They blessed me with a new pair. You know, they're super dope, but like I said, I think if I had to pick for Stylecraft trimmers, Sabras are unmatched, but if you didn't want the Flex, I think like ergonomically, the way it feels in your hands, yeah. potentially could be a lot better than that. It's not so heavy. Yeah. Um, But these hit. Mm -hmm. You're still rocking with the Babyliss FX yes, trimmer. Yes, top two and not two. I think when it comes, just like how the Andes T outliners, when they dropped, it felt like they just rained. They took over yeah. the game for like 100 years. Yeah. I feel like that's what it's going to be with yeah, the yeah, FXs. Yeah, yeah. And they didn't even pay you to say that. They didn't. They didn't. That's I think crazy. the, the trim, heard that, baby, the trimmer trim. game is, is unmatched. All right, cool. Well, if you're good on the trimmer wall, we added a uh, matching combo boost. We added the FX3. We added a, uh, we did not add a four mods. No, we tripping. did not. We, did not add a we four added mods. the detail there, though. We added the details and the black saber. We'll wrap up on the trimmer wall, I'm set. Okay, cool. All right, well, we'll move over to our signature shaver wall. Let's get it. Bro, so we got our signature foil shaver wall. What are you rocking with every day on your station? Man, as of now, I've been using the Silver Babyliss Pro Shaver. That's 
pretty much the heavier one, so yeah. you're cool with that. No, so for me, honestly, my least favorite shaver that I have used, just because of the weight, would be the Babeless ones. They're so heavy, you know, I want to bought out fast. And yeah. I feel like I'm have a brick in my hands, you know? So why are you using it every day? That's the only shaver I have. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know? I'm so happy you're at the barber plug today, bro. I am bro. too. All right, perfect. So we got a bunch to choose from. So what we want to add to the cart? We yeah. can go down from the top, you know? Yeah, so uh, since we're on Babeless, man, we'll stick with it. Okay. Um, because what I've seen is, obviously, these are a lot lighter than yeah. those ones. So I'll take FX3. Yeah, yeah, we got the full combo now. That's what I'm saying. I had to get all three. I was looking forward to it. Okay, we still on Babyliss because they got the little mini single foil. Oh, I didn't even see this over here. I mean, those are pretty dope. I personally have not used that one. I use the Stylecraft and Gamma Uno. Mm -hmm. They're both single foils for those tight areas. Okay, so, so these look different than the other ones. So are these battery powered? Yeah, you okay. gotta put a battery in those. How do you feel about that? I don't know if I'd really like having to put batteries in my in my clippers all the time. Same thing with me. I mean, that's why I prefer these Unos. The foil is a little bit smaller, so yeah. you can really get those tight areas. Yeah. Um, but it comes with the... Yeah, the I actually have the red one, which I, I really like as well. I'll take a black one because yeah. the texture on the outside is different. Super dope. So definitely. For sure. We got an FX3, a Uno. Cool. You ever rock with the wall shavers? They got options? I've used another barber shaver. Yeah. He had the, the traditional burgundy ones. Mm. But other than that, no, I've never used the wall one before. The wall just came out with this new Vanish. Pretty light. Okay. Compared, like to all these. Yeah, these sound nice as well. Yeah, yeah I'll go ahead and try these too. You want to add the Vanish, the burgundy yeah. ones? Yeah, okay. let's do it. Cool, cool, cool. What about these though? Are these Stylecraft as well? Yeah, these are the Prodigies. Okay. Now, I've never used them, but as you can tell, it's, it's a very sleek look, yeah. different type of look. Feel pretty great though. Yeah, these are dope. I like the color. I think they stand out on the station, so. Yeah, yeah, you, you want to I'll try these as well, for sure. Okay, you want the blue or the red? I'll take the blue ones. Blue, cool. I mean, we working our way all the way up. Yeah, I see these different type shape sh uh, shavers. So these are like your kind of like at home mm -hmm. shavers, in my opinion. I've never really used shavers like this. Yeah. This is kind of like, you could get, you know, okay. multi-purpose, multi-use. That one definitely looks more like an at-home one, but these Anders one stands out to me. Yeah, how do they feel in your hand? They feel good. I think I want to try these, you know, on an everyday basis. So if I can add these to the cart yeah. as well. All right, we we'll added the Andes. I mean, these are the OG Andes. Did yeah. you ever like those? Did yeah, you I do. I think the original ones I had wasn't the black ones. It was the burgundy right, ac right. accessory ones. Right. Um, but I do. I like the Andes ones a lot. You still got a pair? I do. I have the black okay. ones. All right, so we got the Andes Resurge foil shaver. We got a black Uno. We got a blue Prodigy. We got a new wall vanish shaver. Um, you also added an FX3 shaver. I did. Correct. I think Man, that's you it. You loaded up on shavers now. For real, I'm about to use every shaver on my fade. Maybe it'll last longer. <laughs> Maybe it'll last. You gotta <laughs> let me know. You gotta let me know which one's the best. All right, bet. Well, we done with all of our clipper shaver walls, but we do got one more accessory wall. Yeah. So if you're ready, we'll move over there and then we'll get you checked out. Definitely. All right. All right, bro, so our final wall is, of course, this signature accessory wall. I mean, you're a pretty active barber. What on this wall is, you know, screaming at you? What's calling your name? Man, so I feel like you can never get enough of capes or, or smocks. Yeah. So definitely this Babyliss Barbarology apron is okay. calling my name. We're gonna grab an apron. Level three, you got this cape with the rubber neck. Mm. You know, so the hair is trapping the hair. You ever seen that? I have that? seen those, actually. Yeah, let me get this one. You got black they got or white. white. I'm a, I'm, I get a little dirty. I'm, I'm gonna go with the black one. Okay, okay. Yeah. I'll hold on I'm to gonna get color all over the white one. Now, one thing I wanted to say just before we get too ahead of ourselves. Yeah. Us here at the Barber Plug, we got these brand new brush combs. This is different. Take a peep. It's gonna save you a little bit of time. You can actually take it out the bag if you would like. Okay, yeah. Peep. Yeah, this is fire. It's pretty dope, right? Cool. We're gonna add a bunch of those to the car. Just complimentary. Let's do it. On let's the team. Do it. Yeah, so anything else? I mean, you need some blades. You need some Yeah, let me, let me look at the blades because okay. honestly, man, I was, I was interested in this blade. Black Gamma Vapor Blade. You need more than one? Yeah, I'll take one. Actually, okay. two, because I got two instincts now. So oh, I'll take got, two. Of we them. got the Stylecraft one as well. You got a, you know, oh, it's the so same. I got a Stylecraft Clipper. Yeah, so okay. you need that Stylecraft one. I mean, Gamma and Stylecraft, same umbrella, kind of, sort of, but you right. know how that then, goes. Yeah, I'll take two Stylecraft ones. Okay. Then. All right, last thing I want to talk about is uh, I mean, straight razors. So we yeah. got some options. We do have our branded Barber Plug straight razors right mm. here. Take yeah, a nice golden cream Barber Plug. It's the pinch to put the blade in. So yeah. those are pretty dope. What brand do you normally use? Well, I'm using Faded Culture. Shout Faded out Faded Culture. Culture. Okay. Yeah. We'll get you with our barber plug one. We actually got a black one as well. We'll yeah. throw in the bag for you. Get both colors. You got a lot of black tools, so. Gotta, right. It's only right. Match. It's only right. Anything else though, bro? So one thing I'd probably be interested is in these Babyliss guards. Cause, um, Premium guards? Yeah, with the Snap FX, it came with them. But the labeling, right, was black. Uh, okay. So when I have to go grab it, I have to really look at it to make sure it's oh, a, interesting. a one and a half or a two. 
So I'm gonna go with these premium glasses. That's interesting. You good? You ready to get checked yeah, out? Yeah, see what the damage is. All let's right, do it. Yeah, let's see. All right, bro, that's gonna wrap up our shopping experience. I hope that you enjoyed our time. I did, you know, I was honored to go shopping with you. Before I hand you off the plug, though, I do wanna kinda hear from you. As someone who's become nothing to something on yeah. Instagram, you know, from barbershops into your own studio, mm. what would you tell the barber, you know, growing up, coming out of school, who wants to do what you've done? Yeah. You know, what would you tell them? What's your piece of advice? Man, I think the biggest thing is really having a vision for what you want. Like, people say it all the time, right? It's cheesy now, but like know your why. The thing is like when you first start something, that's when you're the most passionate, right? That's when right. you're on fire, it's really, you're really motivated. But once you're, you know, a year in, a couple years in, and you might not be seeing the results that you want, you know, it'll cause you to get discouraged. But if you really like ingrain in yourself, your vision and your why, yeah, that's what's gonna push you past those moments where you feel like you wanna give up. That's real. Awesome. Well, bro, I appreciate it. Like I said, I enjoyed the time. I hope you did as well. But yeah. I'm gonna hand you off the plug and bro, safe travels home. Let's get it, man. Thank you so much. All right, bro. Have a good one. My man, Dre. What's up? What's up? What's good, man? I can't believe we got you in the building. I know, man. This is a super dope experience, man. You liked it? Yeah, you guys got something special going on here. I appreciate that. Yeah. So before, when you were giving that speech, bro, you reminded me so much of Nipsey Hussle. Do you listen to Nip? Yeah, I do listen to Nip. I, not religiously, but, yeah. you know, I have listened to his music pretty pretty often. Okay, yeah, yeah. You, um, you were speaking some truth right there. That's fine. I'm trying, I'm trying. You want to add anything else? I got some... I, I was club. looking at, at this right here, man, because I see this on Instagram all all the time, oh, okay. you know, when, when they do it with the lights yeah. and then they finish up the cut. Mm -hmm. um, so we can go ahead and add this because okay, I definitely and it has the barber plug on it. It's got the barber That's plug. That's what I'm saying. Know. And how'd you get the name Clipper Hands? I always was wondering. Like, man, so for a long time, I actually didn't like my name. So I heard Edward Scissor Hands, mm -hmm. and you know, I was like, man, what about Drake Clipper Hands? Yeah. Not really original because a lot of people have it. Yeah. And there's been plenty of times where I wanted to change it, but nah, for you. You know, at this same. point, everybody knows me as that. All right, bro. So you totaled out at 2,750. Before, yeah. Hey, that ain't nothing. That ain't nothing. Oh, that's nothing. To that's you. nothing. I knew we got those it. YouTube checks were hitting <laughs> crazy. We got it. Yeah. All right. So you just tap right there and you good to go. Okay, you're good. Um, you brought some big bags to yeah. take us back with you to okay to Ohio. Let's yeah, do it, man. You. Hopefully this fits in my suitcase. Yeah, I'll get the last one for you. Okay. Okay. Yeah, worry about it, but, man, I appreciate you for real. Man, I appreciate you as well. Yeah. Yeah.